I am projected to go in the top three after winning the NCAA championship. Big dog walking through. How's it feel to be the MP? YouTube star turned collegiate legend. Man, honestly. I feel crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does it feel as great as you thought it was going to feel when I caught you practicing taking down the net with your little step stool with that? Oh, you just never going to let me forget that story, huh, bro? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you know what? I respect that. <laughs> hey, 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 for real, though. You been thinking at all about next steps? Bro, always. That's what I'm talking about. So where's your head at? Because, you know, I got a million ideas about how we could leverage where we're at now, but... No, I want to know what you're thinking before I push the button on anything. Yo, hey, so real talk, what you think about Chris Brickley? I mean, he cool. Got a lot of great connections. I mean, I heard good things about his workouts. Cool, because I'm thinking about training with him, you know, get my draft stock up a bit, you know, get in the competition. Yeah, I mean, that's an option. But it could hurt your draft stock, too. I mean, if you're not playing at the top of your game. You trying to say, bro, go snitch on me if I'm not good? <laughs> like, I know you kidding, man. But... No, I'm not kidding. I'm being serious. I mean, word does get around, bro. Look, I know you think you're gonna kill whatever workout he throws at you, but I just want you to know it goes both ways. I think you should just know what you're getting into before you commit. I hear you, okay. I might as well pick the other options just to see what he's gonna say since they're letting us do that. Why not? The G League would be funny if you went from college to G League. Okay, so what you think about the G League? What about it? You think it's a good option for us or what? Are you feeling all right? Bro, you are a guaranteed lotto pick. Why would you even want to go to the G League? Gee, the G League, they doing good stuff right now. Yeah. Everybody talking about how they helping players work on their game. Pro tools for the NBA, okay, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good option for guys that don't want to go to college, sure. But, dude, you went to school. You're draft eligible. Plus, you did so well in college that you are a guaranteed lotto pick. It can make me better. Okay, but honestly, in good conscience, I can't advise you to go to the G League. I hear you. Think about it. Honestly, I'm thinking about the draft, bro. Like, the NBA is right around the corner. I can taste it. As you should be. You're a lotto pick. Easy. So this is the decision you would make if you was me? I can't tell if you're joking, bro, but yes. You have a chance to be a lotto pick in the NBA. That's going to make all of our dreams a lot easier to realize. No doubt about that. Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot to think about, man. Yeah, you do. But you also got a lot of people who care about you. So don't feel like you got to make this decision on your own. Yo, for sure. I appreciate you, bro. When you're ready to make moves, let me know. Hey. I thought about it. I got my suit for the draft. Let's do this. You made a decision, haven't you? You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? Since what? Kindergarten? And you've been making that same stupid face. So come on. Tell me what you want to do. A top three projected pick I have to declare. Hey, so what you think? What do I think? I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? Look, I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, yo. bro, and it's it's like for real, really, for real. Hey, yo, but wait, is it really happening, though? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, all right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next, I, I, I got a lot to do, but I'm going to need a minute to set everything up, so why don't you just come back in a little bit, and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Don't get hurt funny guy. No, 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 no. I'm not playing, MP. If I catch you skateboarding, we gonna have some problems. All right, Mom. I'll be home before the lights are out, too, so I don't get grounded, okay? <laughs> You're so funny, bro. Yo, yo. You ready to talk agents, bro? Are you ready, Rick? I'm excited to see what you got, man. You've been over there working like a dog in your little corner. Hey, do you know how many NBA agents there are? I had to do so much research, bro. Okay, so who's the front runner? Who we looking at? All right, well, I've narrowed it down to two, and we are looking at Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. I don't know, though. Yeah, they're more up and coming, but they've got a lot going for them. I mean, especially if we're going to branch out into these more ambitious ideas with fashion and music. Hey, look, tell me about them, bro. All right, well, I've set up meetings with each agency, all right? So you got to go check these guys out in person and see just who you vibe with. I mean, but I can give you a primer. <laughs> yeah, let me hear it. All right, so PAA is like the gold standard. They've repped anybody who's anybody in the NBA. Hall of Famers, All-NBA, you name it. So why wouldn't we go with them, bro? Okay, well, let me tell you about Barry and Associates. Look, their founder, Barbara Barry, she's, <laughs> she's basically a savant. I mean, she started as a musician, became a producer, and now she's an agent, killed it at all three levels. Mm, triple threat, I like that. Yeah, 
And they got a good amount of experience repping NBA players, too. I mean, they're just not as big as someone like PAA. Which means I might get some more personal attention. Hey. Not only that, bro, but they rep a lot of musicians and people in the entertainment world. I mean, Palmer is pretty much all basketball. So that can open up a whole nother world for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. maybe. I mean, you get big enough as an athlete, though, you could do the LeBron thing. Work with whoever you want, no matter who your agent is. I mean, look. There's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like, she could really hook us up with some more outside-the-box kind of things. So that's the way you lean it, huh? <laughs> I honestly think both could do a great job. But, I mean, like any workplace relationship, a lot of it's going to come down to who you're comfortable working with. I mean, so you got to go down and meet them before you make a decision. I mean, just feel them out. See who's a good fit with you personally. <laughs> Rick, what do you know about a workplace, bro? 2K shoes, that's not a boardroom, bro. All right, hold on. 2K shoes was hard work, bro. You're gonna stop trying to play my achievements. Okay, look, look, I know, I know your work ethic. It's amazing, my son, okay? All right, yeah, well, like I said, I set up meetings with both of them, all right? All you gotta do is go and listen. You can even ask some questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> you think you can handle that? Consider it done, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. So annoying. This is the first time that I've actually had to travel, and it took a while to get here, but they're both right next to each other to go meet these agents. So let's see what happens. Here's the first agency. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, I have an appointment with Kristen Keller, Kellen, her. Keller. Ke Keller, her. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and you'll be also meeting with Ms. Palmer and of course, Mr. Bennett. Oh, great, he's here already, cool. Yeah, he just beat you by a minute. <laughs> Everyone's on the 21st floor and the elevators are right back there. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, Jessica. Jessica, awesome, thank you. You're welcome, back there. We're going to have to compare vibes as well. Compare everything about these two agencies. Hey, there he is. How you doing? What's How up, you doing, bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm you Kristen. Doing? Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the mm -hmm. pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great. Good. So, like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Di Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. When it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently, mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. If anybody knows how to get what they want, Regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point, okay? You live up to your potential on the court, and there is not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day to day, and I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? Even he doesn't like these two chicks. <laughs> Yeah, like Ricky was saying earlier, so it's mm -hmm. down to you all and another agency, uh, right. Barry and Associates. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to put y'all on the spot, but why should we choose y'all versus them? You guys ever hear of Bay State Law School? I knew that they had a basketball team named Bay State. I've never heard of a law school, no. Okay, well, I, I went to Bay State Law School. <laughs> oh, Chris, <it> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Bay State's a, a decent law school. I, I'd say it, it's pretty good even. It is. It is. It is, but it's not Harvard. Okay. And it's not Yale. And because of that, it took me much longer to get where I wanted to go in my career than it would have otherwise. 
You know, I didn't have access to the same connections those blue blood types did. My dad's a mailman from Queens, not some investment banker from Manhattan. So I had to wait my turn. But you, MP, you're a blue chip prospect and you don't have to go to Bay State and you don't have to wait your turn. So Barry and Associates, those guys are fine. <clears throat> They're incredible, actually, if you want to quit basketball and start a music career. <laughs> but in this world, the world of elite professional athletes, they can't compete. We're Harvard and they're Bay State. <laughs> now, you don't have to like the game, but you do have to play it. And we play it better than anyone. So how are you feeling? Well, it's been great getting to know you too. Uh, you've yep. definitely given me a lot to think okay. about. Well, Thank you. The pleasure's Thank all you. ours. And look, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points. But I'll catch up with you. Man. I copy that. Have all a good right. day. Have a good one, ladies. Take care. Yeah. So here's the other agency. Let's compare the vibe, the building. Their building seems better than this one, but let's see what happens. Hey. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy. Okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room and you can't miss it. Great. Thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every people, day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going on, know, it's guys? Just the MP oh, it's MP. Hey, How are you doing? There he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupting something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> Definitely nah, good. man. I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. What? It's wild, man. Dope. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you just going to represent yourself now. All right, no, 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 if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up. Just let the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You, got, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. I'm with you so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, doing large part to your boy Ricky over here, <clears throat> you got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base, and they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with him. Let the man finish talking. Well, right well listen, <laughs> let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure answering only to yourselves, your vision. Okay, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with them? No, no, or? no, it's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, okay. You guys know E-40. E-40, yeah. yeah. Dude's a legend, man. Well, listen. Growing up in the Bay, he's a hero of mine. And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good. Right. But because the dude did it on his own terms. Mm. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What'd you think, MP? Where's your head at? Okay, so right now it's down to you guys and PAA. Okay, okay. So why are you a better fit than them? Who are you working with over there? Uh, uh, Kristen Kelleher and Diane Palmer. Yeah. Nah, they're very accomplished and respected, and for good reason. But you know what they do over there is more of a traditional corporate vibe. I mean, it's everything you'd expect a top sports agency to be. 
which is that's good and bad. Good and what do you what do you mean by that? Bad. Well, you know, they uh they never tell you what I'm gonna tell you, which is that you can have an incredibly lucrative career whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. <laughs> now, uh Diane have a heart attack if she heard me say that. <laughs> For them, it's NBA or bust, right? But they don't know how to carve out the type of career that you and Ricky see for yourselves. Mm. That all starts with Barbara. Barbara, yes. Where is she? You know, I thought she was going to be here today. Yeah, she had a last minute thing. She sends her apologies. We can live with that. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> you guys know her story? Uh, a little bit. I'm not too familiar with it, though. Well, I'll keep it short. She got her start in a girl group. You guys know SV3? Sure. No. <laughs> well, you know, so it's the typical boy band, girl group thing. Okay, you know, yeah, label yeah. finds a four-pack of talented singers, tosses them together, marketing defines their look, and, you know, off they go. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, until they're not popular anymore, and then they get dropped. Mm, so you do know the story. Well, I mean, he said he didn't know. I always do my research. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, after the whole SV, SV3 thing, Barbara, she just decided she was going to define her career. Nobody else. So she pivoted, you know, went behind the boards, became one of the most in-demand producers in the game. I mean, she's got like, what, 20 number one singles to her name? That's right. That's dope. Yo, that, that story is dope. And you knowing it? Ricky. <laughs> Barbara's a genius, man. I mean, we're here for a reason. Yeah, like Ricky said, Barbara's a visionary. But music wasn't enough, you know? She got restless. She decided, hey, why not become one of the world's top entertainment agents? And she became enamored with this new breed of athlete that isn't content to just shut up and <laughs> dribble. Yeah. Listen, anybody can get you a meeting with Nike and Pete. Okay. Just be good at basketball. Nike will find you. But what you might not get at PAA, or at least not nearly as soon, are all the other things that we talked about. Now, those are the things that are going to set you apart. And we excel at those things. We can help you get them. What are we thinking? I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit down and think everything over before I make a decision. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Um, I do the same thing. Just take your time, you know, yeah. and uh, let me know when you're ready to take the next step. Absolutely, man, thank you for meeting with us, seriously. Hey, my pleasure. <sighs> I'll email you once we have some updates. All right, sounds good. Take care and yourself. MP, you have my direct number, give me a call if you have any questions, all right? Absolutely, I'll see all you right. soon, man. Take it easy. Have a great day. You too. I'm just gonna sign with my brother because that first agency, what they were saying did not convince me. You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we, we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my mm -hmm. fashion, like that's the type mm -hmm. of career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Let's we go. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what are we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool, cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look. film, whatever these superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I catch oh, you Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting started. Nah, we're just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man, I got some branding ideas. All right, look, I got to talk combine with you, MP. Talk. All right, look, honestly, you in a tricky spot. Like, play well, that could be the difference between the mid-lotto and the number one pick. Okay, and play poorly? Uh, out of the lotto entirely. I mean, but no chance you fall out of the first round. I mean, unless you step on a bunch of rakes or something. <laughs> Fam, this ain't no cartoon, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, all right? You can hurt your stock, but only so much. It's really just about if you're happy being just a lotto pick or if you want to work for something more. Ooh, hold on, just a lotto? Bro, have you ever been drafted in the NBA, son? <laughs> Look, you know what I mean, bro. Look, yeah, I... it's up to you. That's my only point. All right, what should I do then? I think you should trust your gut. Honestly, neither is bad, but it's just about what you want to do. But I trust that you'll make the right choice. I think that's a compliment. It is. I'll take it. Well, really think about this, though, all right? This is a big decision. The draft combine is optional, so I'm just going to skip it because I'm top three projected and I'm not in the mood to do all those combine drills. How many years have we been doing the combine drills? I'm skipping this and I'm going right to the draft like a boss. 
Let's see where I go. Hey, look, I know we wanted to keep your draft party low key, but you don't have to look like you at a funeral, bro. Mm, not funeral exactly. I'm, I'm getting more of a dentist waiting room vibe. <laughs> Yo, I can actually see that. <laughs> yeah, you know, doesn't want to be bro, there. Bro, 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 we get best. it. Y'all got jokes. We get it, man. <laughs> man, look, we just trying to loosen you up, yeah, bro. Man. I'm good. I'm good, man. This is, this is an eerie feeling, bro. This is the biggest day of my life. And we just sitting in my apartment like this is just some other day. It's not, bro. My whole life's about to change. Are y'all not understanding that? Nah, I get it. You you probably need some food. You want, you want me to Ricky, get you some water? Stop playing, no, wait, bro. Wait, 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 listen, Tell listen. Tell for a second. MP, I feel you, bro. Okay, because I remember when I first got that call from Barbara that I was hired, and I knew my whole world was about to change. And I'm sitting there in my boxer shorts. Netflix paused in the background. <laughs> hey, yo, what was you watching? I'm, I'm looking for a new show. No matter. Okay. Like, the point is, is that knowing your life's about to change and living it, two completely different things. This whole moment's all contrived for the cameras, but the real deal is walking into that training facility for the very first time as an NBA player. That's when you're gonna really feel it. You know, it hit me when MP was in middle school, but I'm used to the whole world having to play catch up. I mean, you know, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> you got enough for talent, I'll give you that, Rick. You know, I always liked you, Charles. And just know I am keeping a list of everybody who was drafted before you because this, <laughs> this is disrespectful. Yo, yeah, Ricky, yeah. man, chill. This is exactly what we expected. We knew MP wasn't going first overall. All right, but I'm just saying, bulletin board material. All right, all right just don't stress out the client, all right? <laughs> Management 101. Yeah, bro, you rattling the talent, man. I don't appreciate it. Hey, hold on. Mr. Lesser, sir, how are you? Yeah, I got him right here. One sec. MP, Harvey Lesser here. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the Houston Rockets. Thank you so much, Mr. Lesser. It's an honor. <laughs> Happy to hear that. Now go celebrate. We get to work soon. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. Thank you. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select MP. I'm in the NBA. Th th that's the basketball league, because you know those guys are pretty good, right? I'm in the NBA! You in the NBA! I'm in the NBA, baby! Yeah. 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 Let's go! Congrats, MP. Your whole world's about to change. Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. Hey, Everybody get together. We got to get a picture for the hey, yeah, come on, hold come on, on, come on, come on. Come on, look cool, Charles. Hey, low blow. Let's go. Hey, three. Right, what that look like? What that look like? No, 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 we gotta take it again. Charles, look cool, hey, man. He's always cool, a liar like that. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Percent more man, cool. You got this. Go, go, ahead, go. Three, go. two. Ah! Okay, that's it. That's I need it. that on my socials right now, I bro. I got you. I'm a pro, chop, chop, oh, Ricky. Whoa, whoa. You a pro, but you ain't gotta chop, chop me, bro. I chop, chop whoever I want, bro. Uh -oh, All right, chop, chop uh -oh. me again. I'm gonna make sure those hands never chop. Oh, chop. you go bite the hand that feeds you. Look, I knew you didn't have no book sense, but I thought you had some common sense. Hold on, hold on. You got a better grade than me once. In our entire lives. Bro. Yeah, but I sold the dopest pillow in home egg. Uh, all right, you did. I don't care. Neon stripes, though. Yo, those stripes go hard. <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys could be the next Jesus and Miro if this basketball thing. No, 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 Charles. No, 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 no. Don't gas this dude up. He don't make him think he's funnier than what he is. Do you see what I have to deal with, bro? I pour so much love in him, but it's just a one way street. Hey, maybe it's more of an odd couple kind of vibe, but hey, either way, we can handle that. What do you guys think about a reality TV show? Charles, pump the brakes, bro. Let me start my NBA career first, okay? Oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's, let's do that. You in the NBA! Ah, 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 let's go, baby! Ah, let's go! Ah, what? Oh. What? Hey, uh, I gotta talk to you about something. What's up, bro? Well, look, as much as I love sharing the shoebox with you, I was thinking maybe we get ourselves something a little nicer, you know, now that you're in the NBA. Just bro, a thought. What you talking about? This place cozy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, cozy, suffocating. There's plenty of things you can call it. Okay, so tell me this. Whose money are we using? Oh, yours. Mostly. Seems like a great deal for you, huh, Rick? F for me? Well, you want me to sit here and explain all the things that I've done for you in my life? Well, let's start with the fact that, one, I'm your manager. The man that works day and night to get you more business opportunities that, oh, that's right, make you more money. Honestly, the fact that you can sit here and try and Ricky, act Ricky, like I'm Ricky, trying Ricky, Ricky, Get out your feelings, bro. I was just playing. Yeah, well, there's truth to every joke, MP. Okay. Hey, look. Hey, hey, look at me. 
Look at me. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Can we move on now, bro? Dang. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Right, so what you looking? What you find? Oh, don't worry. I'm going to find us an apartment. I'm going to furnish it, set up utilities, the whole nine. Hey, yo, and make sure we got natural light. This place kind of dark. Oh, and make sure it's not so claustrophobic and we need leather couches, for sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want, MP. Ooh, foosball. Mini machines. Are you trying to live in an arcade? Because I just don't think that's the best look for a single dude. I, I, I don't worry about me, bro. I'm going to be fine. I'm not so sure about that. Look, I'm going to handle the apartment, and I'll let you know when we got an update. I went number two to the Houston Rockets. Let me know in the comments section, should I stay with the Rockets or should I request a trade to go to a team that I've never played for before? I don't mind staying because the Rockets are down bad right now. But I remember in 2K12, I played for the Rockets and then in 2K13, I was gonna play for the Rockets again because I think they got Harden or something. But everybody was like, no, you've already played for the Rockets, go somewhere else. Obviously, it's been many years since then, but maybe you'd rather see me play for a franchise I haven't played for before. But either way, I will play some games for the Rockets because you can never request a trade that fast. You kind of have to play through the season and then it becomes an option. So just let me know in the comments section, the top rated comments, the most comments. That's going to be my decision for this season. Finally. When I'm in TakeOver, the TakeOver is working. So I think once I get some badges, I'm good. Can't forget, I'm playing this game without any badges. So maybe once I get some Ankle Breaker, some of the other ones, I'll start to see more of this. Ooh!